guys, welcome back to another episode in the Honda Civic Mugen SI series. As you can see, different background in the back, the Mugen's not here, we are in my garage. So the background doesn't really matter, what matters is what we have in front of us. Pretty big box I have over here, so this video does mean that an upgrade is coming to the car. A little different than what we've done in the past, in the past we've done a bunch of maintenance on the car, getting all the fluids updated, so if you haven't checked those videos out, make sure that you're going in and checking those out. We've changed the coolant, we've changed the engine oil, we've changed the transmission fluid, spark plugs, even did a video on the wipers. In today's video, I am pretty excited. We're upgrading the speakers in my car. So if you guys did watch the first video, I did mention that the front two speakers do not work in my car. Since this is my daily driver, it's super annoying not having speakers in that car. The only speakers I can listen to out of is in the back tray and those speakers are so old and those older Honda speakers they were not the best so I did purchase some really cool new speakers which I think will look good in the car because of the color that they are they're not the top of the line speakers because again this is an older Honda I will be planning on modding it so that means the car will get louder over time and we're just not gonna listen to music I'm also not a huge audio person but I do want to have this be more of a daily driver and being a daily driver you're going on long drives or you're going out to see your friends when you're sitting in traffic so listening to a podcast or like some music would be nice so let's open this box show you guys what i got and show you guys how to put it in all right so let's open this package up i did get this from crutchfield.com no i am not sponsored no this is not an ad they're just a good website to get any sort of audio equipment for for your car or your home so as I did mention, I did get mid-grade speakers. Not the top of the line, not the bottom of the line, just something good in the middle. Um, the speakers in my car, the front two don't work. So I am looking forward to installing these. So I did get the JL Audio C1 650X. So these are pretty good mid-grade speakers. As you can see, they have the tweeter built into the middle. Um, so I'm pretty excited having these in. What else is included in the package? We also get a little harness, so we won't have to splice any wires. It should just be pretty plug and play. Um, this was included for free in the package. So whenever you buy from their website, they'll throw in a free harness. I guess at least they did for my car. So this will just plug into the existing factory harness, and then the ends over here will plug into these speakers. Uh, for the Honda Civic, you will need little adapter plates. I think the factory speakers are molded into the plates that fit into the door, so this is pretty good. We'll need these. And I think that's all that's included in the package. Um, actually, I got a support manual over here. They did email me another manual on how to install these, and I believe that's all that comes in the box. So let's go ahead. Let's start opening these and get them in the car. All right, before installing these in my car, I do want to open them up, see what they look like. Uh, as I did say that the, only the front two speakers don't work in my car. If I do like these, I will be upgrading the rear speakers as well, even though they work. But I just want to open these up, see what they look like. And man, these are sweet. These are really sweet. It's got a nice little packaging, make sure nothing's damaged. These are a little beefy too. They're nice and heavy. And man, that yellow, hopefully that shows through the speaker grills. That's gonna look so cool in the car. Um, this is made from metal. Uh, I guess it's a magnet. So I'm excited to put these in the car. Let's, uh, let's get my tools ready and show you guys how to put this in the car. All right guys, so I do wanna show you what I mean by there's no sound coming out of the front two speakers. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's just the speakers are blown. But starting it up, get the speaker on. Put it on the radio, go through this. Right now, it's in the center. If I move it over to the front, no sound. Not even from the tweeters up top. Um, so I really hope it's not a wiring issue, but even if it is, I'll figure it out. But I'll have upgraded speakers in the front, and if I do like them, then we'll get them for the back as well. So let's turn our car off and get to popping this door off. All right guys, so I showed you most of this stuff in the unboxing, but we have our front speakers. We have our speaker adapter. 
our harness. Tools will need trim removal, foam tape to avoid rattles, and then a flathead and a Phelps head. Now I got the door open and let's start removing this panel. So coming to the door panel, the first thing you'll want to do is remove this uh, access cover right here. There's a little push tab inside. I'm trying to zoom in, uh, but you'll just pry that off and start removing some screws. So let me put this on a tripod and get that off. Take that pry tool. Now that we remove that access cover, you're gonna wanna come back here and you can see that there's a screw we wanna take off. And then there should be a clip right over here. I guess my door panel was removed before and whoever owned it forgot to put that clip back in. So I'm actually gonna go to the Honda dealership and order that this weekend. But for right now, let's continue on with this work and remove that screw. Now that we got that screw out from the door handle, we're gonna wanna pry this up and get some access to another screw. So let me get this off. So take your trim removal tool, get down underneath here and start prying from the back end. Okay, so we got this lifted. I'm just gonna come back here and detach this wiring harness. There's a tab right here, press that and then this piece there's a tab right here press that and pull got this off put it over to the side all right so next step if you didn't buy a hoopty like me is there's a screw that goes right over here it's missing in my car so we don't need to do that step so the next step we're going to want to do is start prying the door so get your pry tool and start prying these places. You're gonna to wanna to just pry the clips um, go all around, be slow. You have one of two choices. You can either remove these wires or just hang this on the side like this. I like to just hang it. All right, so some scary shit I'm running into over here. I was wondering why my mirrors don't move, and it seems like whoever painted this car or had it before me just cut these off and left it like this. Now I'm scared whether my speaker is blown out or it's just disconnected. Um, I'm just gonna remove this screw, and then we'll see if there's a wire connected in the back. If not, then I have to figure out how to rewire my speakers. But if it is, connected then I'll connect the new speaker and go from there. Okay so next step one screw right here move that it's gonna take our pry tool and pry the speaker out from the top and then just pull up there we go and there is where our speaker is so let me pull this out and so next i'm just going to take my new adapter and plug it in to where the honda adapter is uh it should just clip in like that and we're good to go we're good to connect our new speakers i'm actually going to test my new speaker put it in before i put all the, the housing on so let's see if it works or there's a bigger problem here got the adapter connected I just want to call it out black is negative white is positive on our new speaker over here on the back we're gonna have these tabs this is positive this is negative and these should just clip in with no problem just like that it's over here really quick and see how it works if the sound does come out in my car See if this works. Nothing. Nothing. So it seems like I got a bigger problem here now. All right guys, sometimes you just wanna work on the car, you're super excited, get everything ready. And it turns out that the prior owner lied to you about a lot of things. So I did kind of get screwed over here. He told me that these side view mirrors don't work because he, when he got the car painted, he just forgot to connect them and look they're just cut i did plug in the new speaker i got it's not working so 
I'm gonna try to troubleshoot this. All right guys, so you win some, you lose some. I didn't figure out the speaker situation today. It's still busted. But I did find out that my side view mirrors, they were not working because this wiring was cut. The reason it was cut was whenever, whoever painted this car, they removed the wiring and when they routed it, I guess they didn't clip this in here and they didn't route it behind this bar for the window to slide. And underneath, when they scrolled the window down, it pulled this wiring and yanked it and got it cut, which in terms lost the connection to the side view mirror. So now me and my dad off camera, we spliced this wire, got it connected, side view mirrors, now working on both sides so good news there um, and i've rerouted this so my window is going down completely uh and we'll figure this speaker out another day all right guys so i've been racking my brain on why these speakers aren't working so the conclusion that i came to was it's either going to be the head unit and i did some research and the head unit doesn't power the speakers actually in this car it's the amp so i was thinking it's the amp um, so one thing to note, if you have a sedan, the amp is located underneath the driver's seat. If you have a SI Coupe, the amp is actually located, I believe, underneath the center console right here. So taking a look at the amp, I had to unbolt the seat actually. So to do that, there's actually one bolt here, one bolt there, one in the back, another one on this side. I took a look at the amp and it seems like... I have some corrosion underneath here. Um, so I yanked the amp out and I'm actually gonna pause this video and show you guys what the amp looks like inside. But I'm gonna also have to clean this up. Um, but let me stop this and show you guys what the amp looks like. And I think that is the problem that I have with the speakers. All right guys, so indoors now, taking a look at the amp that I pulled out of the car. This is the part number for the amp for the SI sedan. Um, it is a Pioneer amp uh, i had no idea it's a pioneer unit but taking a look at the amp i started to notice it was in actually pretty bad condition um this is after i cleaned it up but it seems like i don't know maybe there was water once in the car or someone dropped some sort of liquid or something um but it, it was rusted pretty bad so i've been trying to look for a replacement on ebay um so what i did was i opened it there's two screws here um, two screws on the top and then four screws on the side and I was actually able to open it and I took a look at the motherboard that I have right here um, so the harness connects into here I was taking a look at all these uh, pins and if there's any damages to the pins over here it seems like none but then on this side this is where the chips are and you can see that um, the harness connects in and the electricity flows to these chips. Taking a look at the chip, you can see that actually one of the pins is broken off in the chip right here on the third one. Um, so yeah, I was looking on online if I can find this in junkyards or something, but it doesn't seem like I'm having any luck finding this, uh, this part. So if anyone has one, if you can give me a potential lead, you can see that there's a gap right over there, uh, and that's the wire that's broken. I'm guessing that's the reason I'm unable to get uh, sound. Um, so there's actually a broken pin here and a broken pin over here as well. Um, it's a little hard to zoom in as I am on a phone, um, but I'm trying to get the cleanest resolution. Um, so yeah, it is pretty rusted. I'm guessing this corrosion kind of messed things up. So there's about one, two, three broken pins. And I'm guessing that's the reason why I'm not getting any signal. Um, and then there's this motherboard that clips on top of this into here and here. These, uh, these pins go in. So if anyone in, uh, who watches this video, if they have a, uh, a factory amp out of their car si sedan please let me know in the comments i'll definitely um want to purchase it off of you i've been checking junkyards all i'm able to find right now is for coupes 
the thing that I am worried about with a coupe is I know this part is different on a coupe. Taking a look at video uh, pictures, it seems like this actual amp, the unit itself, is the same. But I'm not sure, so I don't really want to order a scoop one and then have to open it and then basically move modules over to my unit. But if anyone has any leads on this, please let me know. I'll work on getting this. Uh, I'll work on buying it off of you. Um, the other thing I do want to call out is I can avoid all this and get an updated uh, head unit and then get an amp bypass and then a separate amp to power the subwoofer and the head unit will power the speakers. But I'm really not that much of an audio guy, so it's not gonna really make a big difference to me. I just kinda want this working. Um, and if this works, I might even return those speakers that I bought. I'll try them out to see if they are better than the factory ones. But yeah, let me know if anyone has one of these. Definitely very interested to buy it. I'm looking at junkyards, they're going anywhere from like 50 to 100 bucks for the coupe. So I'm willing to pay up to 100 bucks if someone can get me one of these. Uh, but that's all for today's video. I'm glad I got the side view mirrors uh, working, but this has gotten pretty annoying. So thank you guys for watching. Take care, comment, like, subscribe, and peace.